red, that's it, so it says record. Okay, so this is your control panel. 12 volt master switch. So you on the bailey you might have had the switches here. Yeah. Yeah, well that's the master switch there, so that switches your 12 volts on. Water pump. Yeah. Main light master switch. Dimmable light master switch to so the ones above the lockers and then above your bed. And then only light. Okay, so you yep. need to switch them on, but they are individually switched around the van. Okay, the screen you can see is dull at the moment. Wave your hand in front of it, it lights up. Okay, in the centre it's showing voltage of your battery. Voltage of my battery at the moment. And it's saying laser charging. That little L in the battery, that's just say you've got laser battery connected. Flash of electric, you've got electric connected. Obviously clock, which is incorrect at the moment. You've got a menu down this side, so you can scroll up and down the menu to see different things. And you can hear the rain actually flashing down there. So, no vehicle battery, so if your vehicle was attached, you can see the battery uh, oh, right. voltage of that. Solar power, so it's showing you what voltage is coming in through that. Obviously, you've still got, even though it's not sunny out there at the moment, got a little bit of it, it still will provide you some solar power. Select battery, if your car was attached on your pitch, you could select 12 volts from there, but obviously not a good idea if you go and flat the battery on the car. No. AC limit, on the, on the site you plug into a bollard, if you overdraw that limit, so you switch all the electric things on in your van, that will trip that, that bollard. I don't know if you've ever right. done that before. And um, what you can do is set a limit. So if I press the arrow point, point towards the screen there, look, I've set a, a low, that's quite a low one, right. five amp. So it tends to be perhaps on the continent or it's going to coming down quite a long way. Um, or you can set it all the way up to 16 amp, which is tends to be the, the average in this country. Yes. Okay, if you set that, what it will do is if you overdraw that energy or that ampage, see in the centre there? Yeah. That's showing what we're drawing at the moment. If you went Ooh. above that limit, so say you switch a load of electrical stuff on you, microwave, that, fridge, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Got that, yeah. and it goes above that, what it will do if you've got electric set on your boiler, so up to three kilowatts, it will drop down the, boi the, the, the boiler, kilowatts yeah. on the boiler. Right. Okay, for that period of time where you've gone over, and then it, so say it was the kettle that just took it over, that, will, that switches off, and that will allow the, the kilowatts to come back on, the, uh, on your boiler. Okay, obviously if you still, if you're using a hell of a lot of energy and you switch a load of big energy things on it may still may still um, trip yeah trip, yeah. Uh, yeah we we tend to edit one on one off yeah that's it it's always always the best best policy but just be careful what you are actually using okay internal temperature you'll see is slightly different from that one to that one because the sensor in slightly different places dimmer level so this is where you can change the the dimmers on the, the as i said on the top of the lockers you can uh, set them to a different level manually so again, pressing the arrow button that's pointing towards the screen. So you set that there now, that's 100%. So the ones above the lockers there, if I press it again, it'll drop down to five. You can see that dim down there. Yeah. On the app, you can also do that on the app. Right. Okay, but this is how you do it manually. Okay, and what you've also got, heating settings. So as I said, this can control the heater or the boiler. Um, it is set to manual one. So I press again, press the, so to select what option you want to use, so manual, you're controlling the heating on the control panel itself, on right. the heat of control panel. Yep. If I select timer, I can select a timer on here, or app. So you can select app, so it's operating it from the app then. If yep. I select that, that is control from there. You won't be able to control it from the, the heating control panel. Right. Okay, I'll just leave that on manual for a second. And I think that's more or less it, apart from system settings. Yeah, system settings. System settings, this is where you can set the clock. Um, you can also set um, timing for that screen, so it goes dull after it's set to 30 seconds at the moment. Same with these LEDs, and you can also pair your phone up. So if you want to talk your phone uh, via Bluetooth, you can talk to this system via Bluetooth. Turn the heating on and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Or you can actually talk to uh, remote, so over a phone signal. As long as your caravan's got a phone signal, and you've got a phone signal where you are, you can actually talk to it remotely. Okay. Okay, happy with that bit so far? So, you, <laughs> yeah, so, you, so your basics yeah. are master switch, 12 volts on, water pump on, mas main light, master switch, dimmer light, like last uh, master switch, and and only so if I could talk, and then all the light. Okay, and then yeah, you just manually scroll on the other side. That's fine, yeah. That's all right. fine. Yes. yeah. Good. Right, we'll do the, do the heating one next, because that's right next to us. Right, your heating system, as we talked about the outside, is uh, a wet central heating. It's also got the boiler in the centre of that as well. So it's all controlled from one unit, which is this. So that's the on-off button there, green light inside it, that means it's okay, it's running okay. What we're showing on the screen at the moment, that little plug there, that's just, just to show that we've got electric connected. Yeah. Okay, there is a, a master switch on the consumer unit, which I'll show you after. If that is not switched on, that little plug's not there, you're not going to be operating on electric. So right. it's just there, ready to use. 
you obviously need to uh, select the kilowatts on there if you're going to use it on electric. But if that plug's not there, you won't be using it on electric. We guess. Yeah. Okay. Then room temperature. If you press the menu button, we can change the thermostat or these other settings as well. So if I increase the thermostat now, I'm going to all the way up to 30 degrees, which is the maximum, just to show you this circulating icon there. That's to say your circulation pump is, is operating. So that's what circulates the heating around your van. Right. Obviously, if it's not there, it's not circulating so the heating around the van. So this, yeah. Okay. So if you don't want the uh, heating to come on, obviously I've set that to 30. So whatever temperature you feel comfortable with. So I brought that now below room temperature. So circulation pump's gone off. Yeah. As, as thermostats are, if the temperature drops below, below that, it'll come in. It'll allow the heat to come back on. Right. Yeah. Okay. Water treating is the next one. So that's water treating off. Press the plus button. Half a triangle coloured in, and the plus button goes green. That's your normal running for your water heating. Okay. Right. Yep. If I press the plus button again, that's our boost function. So that will boost the temperature in the water for a period of 30 minutes. Okay. Then after that, it will revert back to normal running. Great stuff. Yeah. Okay. So say you want to use the shower on board, or you want to do a lot of washing up, yep. or you just want to increase the temperature in the water quicker. Yeah. You, you put it to boost. What it will also do in that period of time, obviously, what it's trying to do is concentrate all the heating on the hot water tank. So what it will do is shut the circulation pump for the heating because that will be taking the heating away yeah. from the boiler. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just watching where these going. Right. Okay. So when that becomes, when it's obviously done that thirty-minute period, it will come back down to normal uh, temperature. Normal. normal yeah. Okay. Or normal you can usage. switch it back manually as I just did there. Okay. Energy is next. So that's all energy off at the moment. If I want, I can operate on either one, two, or three kilowatts, or the option of gas as well. Yes. Or either or. Okay. What you may want to do, so if we just compare that now, so two kilowatts in the summer is probably warm enough to heat that boiler. So get your hot water. And it might give you a bit of warmth in the room. So yeah. if you compare that to at home, you've got an electric kettle, that's probably around about two kilowatts. It's trying to heat up that much of water. It's not heating your kitchen, it's just that amount of water. So two kilowatts is not a huge amount of energy. If you compare that to in here, two warm. kilowatts is trying to heat up ten litres of water and this man. So when you first get in, in in a cold in a cold day, two kilowatts is not going to give you a lot of heat to start with at least. No. Nope. Okay. So you may want to operate on both. Yes. Yeah. So what it will do is use both energies, which is going to heat it up quicker, so it's higher energy. It will use both energies from cold, gets up to temperature, it will shut the gas off. It will tick over an electric then. Right. Okay. Unless yep. someone leaves the door open or use all the hot water. A little. Yeah. So the gas will then kick back in again. Okay. If you do. It's just try it and see. If it's really cold outside, three kilowatts might not get the temperature you want. If you're quite happy in a cooler temperature, kind of man, yeah. you might be. It's all it depends on how comfortable. The gas is there as a boost. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, again, obviously it's more summer. Two kilowatts probably. Well, if, if, yeah. If that. It's just have a, yeah, yeah. Just see what. See so what, what we used to do with the fire. Yeah, it was up to three kilowatts. Yeah, what, what yeah. But you've got to you've got to remember that though. That was just heating your room. Yeah. This has now got energy, it's trying to heat up two things now, yeah, the room water. and your hot water. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah fine, good. Yeah. What you see there on A, that's all, that, go, that goes through towards um, activated functions. And what that is switched on at the moment is to be able to communicate with that. So that, that is switched on, I'll just show you. So activated functions, which is that one, is third party panel. If that's not ticked, that will not communicate with that. Right. Okay. So if you want to control the heating from an app, that needs to be switched on, which I'll leave it on at the moment. So if you do decide to use that, you can use that. Okay. Happy with that? I use for that. Yeah. Right. So it, it, all it is, there, there may be other activated functions in there, but which there won't be many others unless you have anything that added on. Um, but if that is not activated, that can't con that can't talk to that. Talk to, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what you do then is just operate it straight from that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Rather than using. Yeah. So it's, it's still on manual at the moment. Yeah. If I on the, on this one now, if I'd set it on the heating settings to app, that would shut that that screen down unless the timer was operating on on that side. Right. Okay. If you're trying to operate this, so when you first get into your van and you switch that on, it goes off after two seconds. It may have you've left that on, on either timer or app. Right. So it might be you think, oh, that's not working. Why is that not working? Just check that. If that has been set on the heating settings to either the either timer or app, which I'll do now, just to show you. See, that's now gone off. Right? If you imagine you just get straight in your van now, yeah. I'm going to switch my heating on. What you'll see is it'll do a start up on the screen and it should shut off. So if it's doing that, you've left that on, on there. 
So if you want to control it via that one, you need to just switch it back to heating settings, or back, back to manual. Yeah. Yeah. If not, that'll take over on the yeah. automatic side That's of it. Yeah. The timer. Off the timer or off, off the app as, as you got it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. So, so have you have you got the app on your phone? I have. You have. So what we'll do, we'll run through that now then, if you want. Which is going to be your... Yeah, I think we'll have to hold that one. Yeah, I've got Right, so it helps you make, start off, make sure you've got Bluetooth on. Which I think you have. So if you've got Bluetooth on, yeah. Is it on? I think so, I think it's, we'll just look at the top of your screen, looks like a Bluetooth icon there. If you go onto the app, it. yeah. So if you go onto the app now, is it? So let's start that up. Well, we'll have a look on the screen here now. We need to look for system settings. This is first time set up. So what we need to do is pair up the phone. So Bluetooth pair. Are you ready for that yet? So if you if you tap the Bluetooth icon on the centre there. So in a minute I'm going to ask you to search for the control panel, which you'll do each time. But this, what we're going to do now is Bluetooth pair. So we start the button. It says Bluetooth active. You press search control panel on your on your screen. You see a. Hopefully you'll see. No, go on, try it again. There we go. See that blue icon coming up now. Right, get get ready to tap on pair. As soon as you tap that, yeah. that's it. So tap on that, and it comes up quite quickly and goes quite quickly. Press pair. Oh, there we go. <laughs> See how quick it was. And he got his. That's it. Done. Right, just press search control panel. Hopefully, it might connect up now. I might not do it now. I think what it is. What I need to do is set, set, start this off again. Right, no. Yeah. Right, so search control panel again. Probably going to do it now. So you have to be that quick. Here we go now. Right. So as soon as you tap that, get ready to tap on pair. That's it. Right. So just done again. Right. Hopefully it should just connect now. Sometimes it drops out first. I've search control panel again. So this is all you need to do normally. Hopefully that's paired up now. So it's going to be open. That's it. Just yeah. No, it hasn't paired yet. <coughs> on, just press search control panel again. See if it comes up with the icon. What, what I might have to do. What's the easiest yeah. to sell that's not connected? Yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go to this now and just go Bluetooth delete. So sometimes when you're having a bit of issue, it's just deleting now. Bluetooth delete. Sometimes we have, a, have the problems with the issues with the uh, iPhones yeah. connecting. But once you've connected, that's it, it should be okay. It's just that first time. Right, Bluetooth deleted. Right, so we're going to pair it up again. So press search control panel, hopefully it will come up now. Tap on that. What's it tap again? Press pair. Hopefully now we should have it. What's it saying there? Connection now. Done connection error, yeah. please reconnect. Yeah, just try that now. Just press done. Search control panel. Try again. As you can see it came up with it before and then it yeah. just crashes in. I'm going to try mm -hmm. switching my Bluetooth on and off. Yeah, yeah, just try that one, see what. Is that sometimes as a. All, very, all fun, all this technology. When I mean, it works right. I think to play. That's it. Yeah, it's looking. Yeah, because it it, it, I haven't got that on, on uh, actively. That's it, just come back out of there again. Go back on your app. There you go. Let's just see if you can search control on there. Let's see what. Launch If it fails, it's not. Right, we'll go back to this again. Oh, on that way. I'll just delete that again. Let's see if it will. We might do it this time. Control yeah, we're heating and lighting, water pump, certain things. You can, it can look when you're remote. You can do that remotely as well. You can also do it uh, looking at where your van you've left it. So it's got GPS. It's it'll see where you've left your van. Right. So Bluetooth pair. Let's get that active. Let's search control panel. Right, hopefully this time. Tap on that. Pair. 
to turn that yes, does it? Connection Connection error. error, please reconnect, done. Because it was flashing up somewhat yeah. quicker after that as well, is that? Search control panel again. Just press search control panel. Oh, sorry, That's it. It's just that you get there, it's pairs, and then it doesn't want to do it, does it? Yeah, search control panel. That's the one that's... Hey, what, what we'll try, I'll just try on my, my phones, if, if I can pair up with my phones, it might, you never know, it might just be your phone perhaps. Yeah. So I've got a Samsung, which is like... Because we do have a few issues with with iPhones with the signal backs around here, right. which uh, might be better if it was out, out of this bay. Right. But what I'm going to do, I'll see if I can connect mine now. Yep. So we're not. We'll yeah. So I know if it's not the system. It's yeah. The phone. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's coming up. That, that's the same icon as yours. Look. Yeah. Tap on that. That's what we should be seeing. Yeah, and we're not. So it yeah. Be the so it might be. It might be just being in here. Well, obviously I'm connected with mine, yeah. Just thinking about it. Normally it drops out first time anyway, when you connect these things up. But... And one more. I'm not thinking about this one, yeah. Right, so it does tend to drop out first time, then you should be able to search control panel, it should come up straight up. Hmm. <laughs> do the same with mine now, isn't it? Seeing it's there. It's just hold it's not it's just not holding that signal, is it? No. Because sometimes we, when you're looking for devices you're picking up everything else and apart from the one you want to try to pick up. Something like Are you stopped up on site today? No, we're going out. We're away Wednesday, so I have a party tonight. It's only day to pick it up. Right. My good lady, we did not want to um, have it start messing with it Monday till away Wednesday. Oh, well, no, I can understand that, yeah. yeah. You don't need to pick it up there going go straight away, do you? Really? But, you know, I'm just deleting that again. I'll just give it one more try. Isn't it? Seen it's there. It's just not staying connected, but it's kept up. So if you have any issues, obviously if I can't get this now, it might work. Yeah, exactly. Way. That's the problem with that. They're doing that. But I've right, got a signal now. Normally that drops out first time. Right, well, I'll show you. I'll show you mine. But if you want to record this, no, it's just going to drop out again. Now. Hang on. Try it again. Has it been on record all the time? Has it stopped? This? It's, uh, uh, it's on record still. It's on record still. Right. Right. So that, that's that's solid now. Yeah. yeah. So what you can change is first one's power. So when this become when it comes light blue like that, yeah. you know, then you can start changing things. You can set an AC limit from there. You can do if you want to. Switch the power on and off. So 12 volt systems on and off. It also shows you leisure battery. Also you can see uh, solar and everything else as well there. Come back out of there. Water. So again, when it becomes clear, you could switch switch your water pump on and off. But be very cautious when you're doing that because if you're doing this outside and you've left water taps open. You could have water coming in and out when you don't want it. So just be very cautious when you're using that. You yeah. could use that um, if, if you experience that. When you go to fill your accord, you say, oh, I've left the water pump on. So you, normally you're tapping on the, on the window and say, just switch the water pump off. You could actually do that for, for right, that if yeah. you wanted to. But you obviously got to be reasonably close. This is just on Bluetooth. Okay, if you come back out of that, heating. There's one. There we go, slow now. There we go. So when that again, when that becomes clear, <coughs> 
a second, right? Right. Right. So you can have seven individual day timers, or you can have one timer that does every day. So that that will set obviously switch your heating on and off on the timer. You can also do override. So I'll just tap on that. Override. What that is, you can have the heating. So say you're out out and about. So this is, you could do this remotely now. So as long as your caravan's got a signal, you've got a signal. You could talk to it remotely. You say you're up on that hill over there. Yeah. It's you know you've you, the time is set for, to come on say at five o'clock or four four o'clock in the afternoon. You were going to be coming back then, but it's cold now, so I'm coming back now. So what you could do is set it to come on now. So you select your energy, gas, electric one. That is running time, so an hour. I'll leave it at that. You can <coughs> set the, the temperature. Right. So say set, set it twenty five. You could switch, switch water heating on, but we won't do that at the moment. Then just press start. So when that becomes clear. You should see a signal that's going on to there now. Heating system's now starting up. Right, yeah. Okay, see so you can see the heater's yeah. actually come on. Circle's come on. If I just press the menu, if you see that, 25 degrees. Yeah. No water heating on, one kilowatt gas. Okay, so if you... I'm just waiting for the icon to come on on here. Just thinking about it. Oh, there we go. Right, so see these little tiny icons there? Yep. That's heating, that's a play symbol, that's saying your heating's on. That's water heating, you've got a stop symbol, so obviously that means water heating's not on. So you've got that indication of what it is. <coughs> if, obviously you think, oh, I don't need the override on now, you can just switch it off by just pressing that. It will go back to timer, so at this occasion it's gone back to timer one. Right. Okay, you see that's now switched the system off. Okay, so if we come back out of that one, you can switch lights on and off. So you'll see similar ones to here. Yes. Yeah. What you've also but what you've got is two sets of dim dim lights. So dim one is over the bed in at the back in the top of the lockers. Dim two is the ones at the front. Great stuff. So you can switch them on and off. All in interior as well. So dim two which is at the front, if I just tap it to hundred now, it should go fully bright. Okay, and then if I just tap it back to five, you can see it should see that dim down. When it communicates. There we go. There you go. So you yep. can play that at any time. You can do that remotely as well if you want. What you've also got is remote. Okay, so that remote is when you're operating via a phone signal. So what it will do when you connect, <coughs> once you connect to remote, it actually overrides the um, Bluetooth, so it'll shut the Bluetooth off. But if you see all these icons now, they're all grey, so it's not connected at the moment. To connect it, I can't connect it because it's obviously your, your system. You go onto head and shoulders. What you will do is put your email address in yeah. and your password. Okay, I don't know if, um, if you've set this up or Gareth's done that for you. Mm, I don't think Ga so. Gareth might have done that for you if you haven't oh, done oh, it. Karina may have done, I'm not sure. Yeah, so what you do is put your email address, put the password in. You will, it will say search vehicle or um, select vehicle. So you tap on that grey button there. It will put, Once it comes up, it will show your van just underneath that grey button. So it will yep. say Swift Celeste, whatever it is, 560. And then what you do is tap on that. Oh, I don't want all that. Look. Right. It will pre-populate all the rest of it. So all the rest of the information, the mobile numbers and yep. everything else. Once you tap on it, it will go to the top of the screen. You press save and then that will connect. Okay. So then you come back to the remote app uh, center there. This, these should show blue then. Right. Okay. Apart from... Oh, okay. Touching the screen. Apart from the update one, that will sh still show grey. You tap on that one, it will light all the rest of the ones up that you can uh, alter or, or right. play with. So you can see the lights there. We'll also show in the heating system as well on there. Okay. If you press the locate button, that will show you where your van is was last positioned or is in at the position it is at the moment. Okay. Levels, so it'll show you level your battery, history, history of level your battery, <laughs> uh, and temperatures and dealer. That will show you obviously our details and uh, contact numbers as in the uh, company. What you've also got there, once it recognises your van, it will recognise your manual, which is that there. Obviously it's quite a large manual. Yep. Um, if you decide to put that onto your phone, you're gonna need a Wi-Fi signal, because it's quite, obviously quite a, uh, quite a large file. Alerts, I'm just showing you that, that you can do, I can't do much on it anyway. But what you do is load it up, so you just press load, then you can set different alerts for it. So a frost alert, I'll be very cautious in using that. Don't use that to, or don't rely on it to let you know that the caravan's cold to, so you can go and drain it down. But it's still drain but it down. I, I, yeah, yeah, if that yeah. says it's cold already, it might be too late and you've got a frozen van. Yeah. So just make sure that 
If so you do use that, it's just for... What, what, the Adele system, is that fine to leave? Aldi system is, is anti um, has got an antifreeze mix. Yeah, 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 so there's, there's, you don't need to just, drain that down. It's just... It's, it's your usual water. Water, yeah, your usual water system as you normally would. So the yellow lever which is under there, open all the taps. Yeah, that drains down. Okay. Yeah. And Swift one, that's just to show. Yeah, this Swift website and things like that. Okay. So that yeah. shows there. Uh, Swift website, Swift Talk, which is a forum, Swift TV that shows you the new products on the video, and then Swift Connect as well. Okay. Then if you're going to operate the tracker, you need to obviously you won't operate the tracker, but that just tells you a bit of information about it. So you need to go to Swift Command website if you then register with that if you have, if you want to use the Swift uh, the, the tracker. Right. Okay. So apart from that, okay with that? Yep. Yeah. So what I'll do now, I'll delete this system again. So obviously you take my phone off it. Yep. So obviously you don't want that on there. Hopefully you should be able to connect with that now. Okay. I don't know if it will now, but obviously when you when you get out, yeah, yeah, when you get out and about. So I'm just taking them all off there now. Okay, so that's all, all the system deleted off my phone at least, yeah. off, or my phone off this system. So when you come to it, Bluetooth pair, press that, it should say Bluetooth active, that will be flashing. Yeah. As long as you've you got your phone all set up ready, and search for control panel, and hopefully that will uh, connect then. If you're having any problems, obviously, when you're going to go and using it, it, it might just be, obviously I've connected it, it might just be your phone, it might just be in here, in here that's bouncing yeah. the signal around. Okay. I'll just Back out of there. What I'll do, I'll set it to manual on the heating system. Otherwise, you won't have any heating if you can't get if you can't connect your app. Okay. Yep. That's it. So that, you're happy with that bit? Yep. Yeah. So if we just have a look under this this bunk here, print seat. Right under here, that's your consumer unit. So heating the hot water is that that's your button there. That that shuts off the, the 240 to your boiler. It's not not putting heat in there, all it is is that's just making sure there's an electric available to use, obviously as long as you've got electric connected. Yeah. Okay, charge button, excuse me, charge button, as long as that's switched on, you've got electric, charge unit there will charge your battery. Reverse polarity, that's just an indicator light, so if that lights up, Something usually be on the, usually be on the continent or there's a fault, but on the continent, they tend to wire things slightly different than what yeah, we do. Foot, yeah. yeah, okay. 240 trips. And you've got this. You've got this side. Is 12 volt fuses. fuses. Yep. If I press the charger one off, you can see that that green light is to do with the charger. So that's a charger fuse. Yep. Okay. So there's LEDs. Up, yeah. yeah. LEDs alongside each of the other fuses. If they light up red, then that means that one of them fuses is gone. So it's it's an indicator which fuse right. is gone. Yeah. Okay. So it obviously makes it a lot easier to identify. And what you've also got is a system shutdown button. That will shut down all the 12 volt systems in your van. So obviously you can use that when you're in storage. So you're not using it for a period of time. Obviously that's to hopefully to try and protect your battery, it's not going to drain it down too quickly. You have got a solar panel, that will still work with that switched off, so it will still feed 12 volts to your battery yep. to keep it topped up. Obviously as long as you've got daylight and as long as you haven't got a cover, a caravan cover yeah. over the top. Okay, looking down here you've got your control box for your motor mover, your drain for your boiler, yep. and the rest of your tap system. Okay, pump and surge damp, surge protector. Is there any filters? No, no you haven't got filters on this one. Right. Okay. So are you happy on anything else? Yeah, like no, bridge? no, no, yep. Bridge, are you happy with that? It's just on off button there. Yeah. So you're just pressing all that switch it on and off. It's operating on gas at the moment. If you want to select electric, you select electric. If you select 12 volts, that's 12 volts coming from your car. So when yep. your car, so obviously when your engine's running, it will supply 12 volts to the, to the uh, fridge. Uh -huh. It won't cool the fridge down, it just maintains the temperature as you're driving. This side of it is your temperature range, so for your fridge. So all five lit, that's the coldest setting. Obviously it's coming out too cold then, it's obviously yeah. Just alter it. Okay, if you like the gas and it's coming up with this this uh, uh, noise and uh, flashing lights, that means the gas hasn't lit. Right. Okay, so check your usual things. Obviously, you turn the gas on. You need to, on this particular one, you need that the, the green yeah. button on the pipe and also that, that gas right. sensor may have popped. So, you just to check, and then all you do is just press and hold that, and it attempts to light it. Okay, it's doing that on the battery mode because obviously the car's not attached. So, it's right. detecting that the energy is not available. Yeah. Okay, so. Just put it back to that. Okay. Yep. All right. Microwave. Do not travel with glass plating. No. If that drops and goes on there, it's going to be expensive. On tears. So I'll just sneak it there for now. So to operate the microwave, it does nothing on its own. So that control, you need to press something else, which is the microwave button. Press that once. 
that gives you uh, power, so 100%, 50%, whatever you want to power it up on. Press the microwave button again, 